That's people. exactly what happened. It was a very short negotiation. Yes. $250 million is waiting for him on May 5th. Believe that. If Triple G wins, $250 million is still waiting for him because Floyd thinks he could beat Triple G too. If Canelo can outbox Triple G, are you shitting me? You don't think Floyd's thinking he can outbox that guy? Let Triple G stay undefeated and watch Floyd put hands on him in September. Which brings Ricky Hatton up. Yes, that Ricky Hatton. The same one yeah, I made a joke about earlier. You know, Ricky Hatton yeah. is a quote machine he about just, this fight. And he's being a hater. His quotes are the best. The fact they're thinking of doing it in the fucking octagon as well now, it just fucking makes me furious. Why? Oh, I think it's... Why? I think it's in good health. It's changed in so many years. It was only a few years ago we were moaning there were too many belts. Now there's too many belts, too many, uh, too many weights, catch weights, catch fucking sports. It's getting a bit silly. I went into boxing because I wanted to be the best, and thankfully, that I thought the best in uh, I fought the best in Costa Zoo, and people like that. Now it's like, well, you've not made weight the the weight, so now you're not fighting for the title. You could do it at a catch weight. What the fuck are you doing for if you're not fighting for the title? Stuff like this winds me up. You want to go into be the best and sometimes catch weights and this. It's rubbish, the sport I love. Those are his quotes, people. He might have been drunk at the time. Please excuse all the profanity. Gotta love Ricky Fatten. Yeah, you know, when I first seen the story, I thought he was going to say something interesting. Like, I wanted to be in the UFC. I wish it would have been, you know, offered to me. No, he just sounded like a hater. He like, is a hater. Right? Don't He's be so bitter, dude. He's cheeseburgers. He's a... you, had, you had your shot. You got knocked out twice. Goodbye. He's Rocky, That's he's Rocky Five. He's a hater. He's Rocky you, Five. You got, you got knocked out by Floyd when we all thought he had hurt hands. Hello? We're like, Floyd don't have no power. He breaks his hands every fight. Knocked out in eight rounds? I'm pretty convinced he's living under his mom's house. It's Rocky V all over again. (laughs) He's gone through all his money. No, hey, hey, no. Well, he might have blown through it all, but you got to remember, Ricky hadn't made more money than Floyd Mayweather the night they fought. He made like $45 million that night. Yeah, but didn't he have ex-wives that he beat up? Well, yeah, he just, yeah, you're right. He might have spent it, but in his heyday, he, oh, and he was hated. taken. He was he was a crossover star. Yeah, I would agree to that. And our final story, which we've been covering for the last several months, my favorite quote machine there is on the planet, Deontay Wilder is yet again in the news. Uh, he is still. I've been calling out Anthony Joshua for almost two years. No, mm-hmm. you haven't. You haven't. You're lying. And, he, and even if he did, he comes with the dumbass price tag that we all knew they would never accept. I, so I don't want to break it to Deontay, but Anthony, here's the simple fact about Anthony Joshua, that he's working on a perfect record. He's 20 and 0 with 20 KOs. As a heavyweight, that's crazy. That's and crazy. And one of them's Klitschko, Lee. And one of them's Klitschko. And one of them's Klitschko. Who, Deontay, I don't want to break it to you, bro. You couldn't have You're- beat a Klitschko. And Ever. not only that, hey, Deontay, maybe you could have, but your advisor, you know, that advisor missed the boat on that one. When when Klitschko was ready to be taken, why didn't you guys take the fight? Because it was dangerous. Go talk to your advisor about that one. Yep. You're over there. You're over there 39-0, and 0, and the kid that's 18-0 and 0 takes your shine? You better talk to somebody. Yep, sure is. Uh, this is what he had to say this past week. The big fight is me and Joshua, of course, and that's who I want. Sure. I've been calling him out for almost two years, and a lot of people think that this just started, but it didn't. It started years ago. I told people to do their research and their history, then they'll come up with the facts instead of the fiction. But I want to unify by all means necessary. Saying you you want to unify the minute you get a belt doesn't mean you're calling out Joshua, dipshit. You got your (laughs) belt. What an asshole. All right, all right, I'm I'm going to quote history for I'm going to drop a little knowledge on Deontay Wilder. When you got your belt, Anthony Joshua wasn't an undisputed champion. champion yet. Yes, that's right. Fucking asshole. I've been calling him out for two Oh, you wanted to fight him before he fought Klitschko is what you're saying. No. 
when you won your title, the first words out of your mouth were, I want to unify the title. But you didn't do it. You didn't do it. Dumbass. 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 Parker has it in, uh, or Anthony has it. It doesn't matter who has it. I want to unify, and I can't be clearer than that. Yeah, okay, I, let's, let's get the story straight. Deontay, when he won the title, said, and I quote, I want to unify the title. He then went on a two-year run of fighting guys outside of the top 10 to pad his record. So nope. all of you Deontay fans can suck my dick. He hasn't fought anybody yet at heavyweight that's a 50-50 fight. Not one. Not even close to one. When he had an opportunity to like step up and fight somebody in the top 10, the closest, you can't even make an argument for anybody he's fought. Yeah, it's like Ariola and Stervine, I think, are the last 10. Ariola wasn't even anything special when, when I don't even think Ariola him. trained. Yeah. Well, then again, every time Ariola fights, I'm never sure if he trains or not. <laughs> no, look at Deontay's moments coming up here, Lee. He's got, he's got. He's got a few days. He's got a week, right? He's got one week until he actually proves that his power is something we've never seen before because it could. Because, Lee, I don't expect Deontay Wilder to learn how to be a technical fighter overnight, right? And that's the biggest knock I've had on Deontay. Like JoJo Diaz, I've started off with. He's got more crazy quotes for us. Uh, well, you you build up the quotes. I'm just going to say <laughs> he has never he has never grown – as a fighter and that's my biggest knock on him and that's why i have him losing on saturday night i i think technically he's gonna make a mistake and and ortiz is gonna pounce on it now with that being said don't get me wrong people i know deontay wilder has this power that we've never seen before because he throws from unique ways right he's got these windmill punches his uppercut is ugly like everything about deontay's Wilder's offense is ugly right. until the punch lands on the chin, and then it's like, damn, ooh, he knocked no, him out. No, don't get me wrong. He's got crazy ass power. But exactly, Ortiz, Lee. Ortiz has got this completely laid out. Okay, so Deontay, for those of you who don't know, literally uses social media to put out crazy quotes. People say you got skills in regards to Luis Ortiz. People say you got the will. People say you King Kong. God, I love it when he talks like that. People say you King Kong, the boogeyman as well. All of these things they relay you as. What does that even mean? All of these things they relay you as. These are social media quotes, which is really what bothers me. But the bronze bomber is going to beat your ass. Okay. Luis Ortiz, one comment, and it's just a shut the fuck up comment. He's talking too much. He's going to have to back it up in the ring. He says he's going to kill King Kong. He's going to knock me out. I want to watch him try. I'm not like the other people he's fought. I'm a real fighter. <laughs> yeah. Tough and with a lot of experience. I've been fighting since I was 10 years old. Right, right, right. I am telling you people, get on the Luis Ortiz train. The yeah. only thing that scares me is that he signed with Al Heyman. Okay, that's the only thing. I Look, I don't like saying guys take fixes or anything like that, but that's the only thing that's a little bit nervous is, is why... Ortiz signed with the PBC right before this fight. But but maybe it's the step over the body uh, situation, right? Or uh, Al Heyman had to sign Ortiz just to make sure if he does lose Deontay Wilder Saturday night, he has the guy that's going to actually fight Joshua, and that would be Ortiz. Um, so may, hopefully it's that type of situation, but you're already seeing rumblings online about how this is going to be Sort of like uh, when Deontay Wilder, Wilder fought Malik Scott. Remember, that was like a big fight. Malik Scott wasn't top 10, but he's a big jump up in, in opposition for right. Wilder at where he's at. And then he knocks him out with a phantom punch. No one even sees it. You know what I mean? Then you find out they're, these guys are all like best friends, get tattoos together. They both fight under Al Heyman. And it's like, ugh, just got real ugly really fast. I'm hoping Ortiz is staying honest. I like what he's saying. Um, I, I like everything about this fight. Lee, you know, for years now, I've been saying when, when Wilder steps up, I'm going to lay the money down. Hey, you got to lay the oh, money. You got to lay on Luis Ortiz. You have to, you be, have to be you have or, to. Ortiz going to be patient. He's going to stay. I'm tempted the to go to Vegas just so I can get money on this fight next week. Oh my God. Gonna, I cannot wait. He's going to fall into a left hand. Another punch people need to work that Ortiz Wilder needs to worry about. 
is when the the southpaw steps to the right on a jab and throws the straight left hand up the middle. That is a punch that is very hard when timed right is very hard to block for the right-handed fighter on the ropes. Deontay Wilder loves those ropes. And the last thing that I see on this, not only about the closing the eyes that I've been drowning you guys with, um, he falls in to punches too much. He falls into his opponents when he's trying to grab. He reaches out. Deontay, may, many flaws, many flaws. He's got, well, no, he's gotten away with it. Let's let's be he, honest. I know. Do I think I that he's athletic and that he gets away with a lot of stuff because he is so athletic? Yes. I think he's an amazing athlete. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. At least after this, it, listen, if it's the same damn Deontay fight of him just being the bronze bomber, right? Just oh, yeah. all over the place. But he knocks Ortiz out, bro. There's nothing else we can say, but this guy might have He's, he might be some of the hardest hands that, that boxing's ever seen because he doesn't throw it technically. When the you're problem, talking timing... The problem is, and I got to be honest, it's that he's going to be insufferable if he, if he beats Luis Ortiz by knockout. I don't oh. think we can live with Deontay Wilder. Oh, he's gonna, yeah, he'll just have pictures of like girls throwing gold on him. <laughs> yeah, it'll just be out of control. <laughs> just For those of you who a... don't remember <laughs> I am how crazy just... Deontay Wilder is, he's <laughs> the guy who said me win. versus Tyson in 86, I'd kick the hell out of that guy. I know. With the series of quotes, let me refresh your memory. My hand speed, I'm too long, I'm too tall, my athleticism, my footwork. They all give me advantages. It plays a big part. No disrespect to Mike Tyson. Yes, that is disrespect to Mike That's Tyson. That's big, yeah, <laughs> big disrespect. In his era, he was the best for that. This is the new era. No old school fighter should beat a new school fighter. Look at the technology we have. No, you don't. You There's learn no to technology fight to say, behind no te- Deontay. No te- none. Nobody none. has a natural killer instinct that I do. Is he <laughs> hey, really hey, Lee, compare that to no... Mike Tyson? So they finally tracked down Mike Tyson. <laughs> finally. Oh, yeah, there you go. And Mike Tyson has one quote. I don't think so. (laughs) He didn't even, like, go on a big rant. I don't think so. Wait, how would he? I don't think so. (laughs) That's a lot. Yeah, that sounds like Mike. That would have been all he said on the topic. And when when I think of Deontay saying the technology is better, what Uh, technology have they used in his offensive weapons? Is he Ivan Drago? Is he, like, running around? Yeah, you're right. The PEDs and the doping and the the chemical synthetics <laughs> are much better today. <sighs> Seven days, people. Saturday night, it's on undefeated world. And one last story, which is my favorite: Deontay Wilder disses Lennox Lewis. Well, because he hasn't shit on everybody, they should be praising the new guys like they do in other countries with uh, former champions. Uh, but in America, it's different. Nobody wants to see nobody be bigger than them. Really? Lennox Lewis hasn't said shit until you dragged in their names, you asshole. Like, you literally started to compare yourself to one of the best eras of heavyweight boxing. All right. And not only that, Lee, this is another one of, like I said about Kellerman, forcing the answer on people. Yep. If they want to give you respect, they're going to give you respect. If they it's, it's if they want to say you did a good job, they're going to say, oh, yeah, I like what you said. Your opinion's right. You don't say, hey, Lee, you don't you think that's correct? No. Now it's like you're forcing me to say you're yeah. correct. Right. Lennox Lewis, if Lennox Lewis knows damn well, dude, you punch like a windmill. You wouldn't have lasted three minutes with, with Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis, he's one of the most Actually, skilled Lennox right Lewis's hands. Lennox line is the best. You've never been in the ring with somebody who wants to break your ribs. <sighs> That's and true. Not only, yeah, but he had the best right hand in boxing. Oh, and no. everyone knows you throw a windmill punch and someone throws a straight right hand, who's getting hit first? I would love to see a prime Lennox Lewis against Deontay Wilder. That would be a very fast fight. It would have been boom, boom. I'm That'd dead serious. Jab yeah. right. He's down. Lee, he doesn't even block sometimes. The guy just lifts his head. Oh, you watch, people. You watch Saturday night. That's what I'm saying. This fight is so huge because Deontay has a lot to prove on Saturday night, and it's almost a perfect opponent. You're talking Cuban boxer, right? They're the most technical. That's what everyone always says. These guys know how to fight. They know how to box. So we check that off. Now you're talking, he's always fighting little heavyweights. Well, you know what? This dude's 6'4". Check that box. He's a southpaw, one of the hardest uh, styles to fight in boxing. Check that box. 
He's 28-0-24, meaning he's undefeated and he has power. Check both boxes.